Good evening guys, my name is Risen and welcome to The Settlers. This is a new game on this for this channel at least. Um, I've already played it a few times before. Um, this is part The Settlers 3. The other games I couldn't the older games I couldn't get to run on my PC. Um so I'll start with with this game and work my way up to the Settlers 7 eventually, hopefully. Um For everyone that doesn't know the Settlers, you control group of settlers, uh, as the name might suggest, and you have to build your village and defend your territory against enemies and overtake the enemy's territory. For that you have to gather resources and um, train soldiers. And yeah, I'm just going to start. I've as I've already played this game, I know what to do, so we have to get a woodcutter to get us started on our wood production. These dots around here all the way, they indicate where the best place for this woodcutter would be. Um, in this case, it is right down here. These dots are green, so we're gonna put it right here. Obviously, you can't do much with the raw wood, so you have to cut it into planks in a sawmill, and the sawmill will go right here. Now we have to wait for our builders to yeah, build these two buildings. I'm also gonna put down a forester's hut so that oh, we don't run out of trees. I'm gonna put it right here so it is going to affect this radius. Um, and as you can might never mind you don't know <laughs> um for buildings you don't only need wood planks but you also need stone as you can see right here and for that we'll need a stone cutter's hut that will cut down all these or mine down all these stones over here and Here's a pretty good spot for that. And the woodcutter appears to be finished already. So, we are going to start gathering wood now. Um, our territory right now is pretty small. It's this uh, circle marked by these red markers. And we can extend it by building guard towers. So I'm gonna put one right here. So that is going to extend up here. And I'm gonna build one right down here to get down to the ocean and build a fisherman for food because we don't have that much food we don't have any food to be more exact as you can see right here on the left side uh, we have zero fish zero pigs zero meat wheat flour or bread so that is quite the problem. Um, so I hope this one will get built as soon as possible. So 
So now I can put down a fisherman right here. For some reason right now, this is the best spot for a fisherman. I guess he could fish in these in this little stream of water, but I don't know how well that would work. Yes, as you can see, we've extended our territory quite a bit right now. It's all the way here. And right over here you can see these yellow markers. That is our first opponent, which we have to um, fight and win against. And it seems like up here is a better spot for a fisherman, which I don't really n understand, but I'm just gonna do what the game tells me. Put a fisherman right here. These signs that are all the way on the stone, all over on the stone here, mark which ores can be found under the signs. These are placed by the enemy, but, uh, or to be more exact, the enemy geologist, who is searching for ores to build a mine. That is not ideal, as we too need some stuff over here. So I'm gonna put another tower right there and a stone cutter right here so I can get through this line of stones. And I'm also gonna put a tower up here so I can extend upwards. right now is that we don't have that many people living in our village. We could need a few more and there is a way to achieve that. You can build a residence to grow your population. This is a very bad spot for it, down here would be way better, so I'm gonna do exactly that. Oh, I'm going to have to move fast as... They found gold right here and iron and if this tower is finished quickly I can get the iron before the enemy and iron is needed to build weapons and tools for soldiers and builders so I can defeat the enemy. But it seems like if you have a look on the map up here that I was too slow. Never mind. Oh, I, my soldier killed a ge geologist. Oh, damn. That's not good. They have a lot of gold right here. Um, I want that. I need that. What are they building? Can't see. 
You can click on enemy buildings normally, but this is out of range for me. Why are you attacking? <laughs> just, just slapping the geologist. That is good, I guess. Because I can ease, relatively easily take over this area, I think. But I'm going to have to uh, overtake their guard towers first. Um, how's it looking with the food situation? We still have zero fish. Why? Well, let's see. A grain farm is not an option for me right now. Pig farm, no. I've got a very bad starting spot. I'm gonna put another fisherman up here. And another guard tower back here. And maybe a lookout tower so that I can look into enemy's area well wait Ooh, that no that's not good we're completely out of wood i'm gonna have to do something woodcutter right there sawmill I think one sawmill should be enough. But we need another forester. And that is gonna go right here. And we're fighting already? And we won, apparently. So, yes, this is the third, third enemy actually. We have. And um, the, the second enemy, I mean. We have two enemies. And we lost. That's not good. I don't know why they attacked, but... How is it looking with my soldiers? 16 of them. for wood, obviously. Wood is not good right now. And there are all my soldiers. I'm gonna move them right here. Please? Yes. That is gonna allow me to react faster if, as soon as I see a guard tower, which should be right here. When this thing is finished, but I need a lot of wood and I got nothing. No, 
I didn't want to do that. You can stay there. Um, I already have a weapon smith. That's bad. They are well prepared. I need so much wood. Uh, well, there is iron here, so I can just put an iron mine here. And iron... Weaponsmith would be... Toolsmith? Smithsmith. Toolsmith. Weaponsmith. I'm gonna go right here. Ah, but that's not gonna need wood too. And a lot of it. There's a tower, there's a tower, there's a lot of iron coal, gold, there should be a tower right here, but I want to know first, before I blindly push in. Why is this getting wood and this isn't? I'm gonna put it on highest priority. needs wood too. This is getting all the wood. No, this is getting stone. Alright. Um, there is a plank on its way. Where are you going? There's another one on its way. So, how many do I need? Three. third one. So soon I can attack. The last one. It's on its way. Perfect. Oh, what is... Oh, he's building a guard tower. Quick! And he's so... He has so much wood. Can't let that happen. Okay, one guard is... One soldier is... Manning the guard tower, and I still can't see you back here. Now I can. And you are going to attack all of you. All the way to this guard tower. Hopefully before this one is finished. That's a bit overkill, I think. That many soldiers. Or is it? No, it isn't. Oh, much. Oh, and he has a large guard tower right there. I got a problem.
Well, I think I lost that one. Miserably. still one left but maybe I can win that <laughs> with the last two archers yes I did win that but I didn't overtake him and I guess that is good because I only have two archers left and that was that wasn't the best decision so I'm gonna start the recruitment process for five swordsmen uh, ten swordsmen 15 15 ten bowmen I think I need barracks to uh, train my soldiers. I'm gonna put it right here. But I think, judging by the time I've already been recording, that this is it for the first episode. Uh, <laughs> We mither miserably, miserably failed the attack on the enemy with 16 soldiers, if I remember correctly. <laughs> but maybe we can do it next time. So, if you want to see more of it, let me know by leaving a like and a comment. And if you don't want to miss the next videos, uh, with um, subscribe as well. <laughs> I can't talk anymore. So bye and until the next episode. Have a great time. That was a really bad outro. What the fuck?